The assignment on Jordan Wolf. There you see Wolf behind the cage. Austin Curtis, six foot three, two hundred pounder, out of New York, first team All Conference selection a year ago. Wolf gets a pick by Jordan. Uh, excuse me, by Christian Walsh behind the net, but Wolf continues to carry. Nice check there by Charlie Archer and Jacksonville will pick up the ground ball and initiate. Uh, was going to exercise that uh, option last year, but a knee injury sidelined him. And of course, uh, he did, did come back following a stint with the United States Army Rangers. You see that line uh, on the field right now with Wolf, Dion, and Cohan. The wine and a shot saved by DeLuca there. Second of a head start as you can possibly get against Brendan Fowler. Blue Devils control as teams switch ends. Wolf will all ready for the Blue Devils today. For a traditional face-off, get-off individual like Brendan Fowler, getting the ball in striking position. 5'9", 5'7", uh, for Wolf and Dion. I don't know if they're that tall. Uh, they, uh, they're they a small bunch, but uh, when the ball's on the turf. Retaining possession as Walsh again carries for dishing it off to Wolf, who unbelievable speed, shot and a goal. And he beat Pete DeLuca here. Really is down, and certainly there were butterflies uh, for all the participants. Uh, and talking with some of the seniors even this week, they knew they were going to have butterflies. Beautiful feed there by Jordan. You'll see great vision here. Jordan Wolf come from behind the goal. Cohan, excellent. 15 seconds left, now 10. Class winds and fires. No good. Beautiful pickup, though, by Jordan. Program still putting out Division I players. As Jordan Wolf fires wide, nicely stopped there by Dion. Deemer Class gets it back to Christian Walsh. They're working around to Bruckner. As the Blue Devils continue their solid off offensive movement. Beautiful look there, Dion. Summer, that relationship took an extra hit as Wolf and Dion spent the killing off man up once again. As Jordan Wolf has it in behind the cage for Duke, blows past his defender. Shot low and away is good. Jordan Wolf with an explosive first step to get topside, as we see it here, and then leave his feet without diving into the crease. Finds this year over Loyola as Miles Jones dodges to his right, finds Jordan Wolf down low. Wolf with a jump shot, finishing up his career last year. Blue Devils running a nice little weave here at the top of their offensive zone. Christian Walsh, though. Slows things down before giving it back to Jordan Wolf. Duke leading 10-5 here, just under six minutes left in the third quarter. And one of the best athletes you'll see on the field today, Will Hawes, carries it in behind the Jacksonville cage before dumping it off to fellow speedster Jordan Wolf. Duke will look to run some clock. Not necessarily in a stall situation, but certainly in no hurry up four with just over eight and a half minutes left. Rule change from a year ago. No more keep it in, but rather a bonafide shot clock beautiful dish by wolf to die who's really over the course of his career it's been almost fun to watch his feeding ability not needing to make a save there uh, jordan wolf will fire up the duke offense and maybe force deluca into a save here shortly jordan wolf over to die on a whips one far side goal more in a second